Hello everyone. So for today, I wanted to make an altered alt toys box. And start with altering this lovely box that I have to sitting around. I am using modeling Liquitex modeling paste from Hobby Lobby. It, I did get it on sale, so you may not find it on sale. My apologies, but that's just a part of using it, I guess. So, this is what I'm doing. You don't necessarily need to do what I'm doing. I'm just having a play because I don't like using boxes and tins that are, you know, all funky. If I'm going to do that, I want it to be the way I make it. <laughs> if you can tell, I, I like making it look different. So I'm using modeling paste again. It takes a while for these, for modeling paste to dry, so I'm trying to just use it. This is going to end up, again, it's going to be a while before I can do part two of this series, just because modeling paste does take a while to dry. And then we'll work on painting it the next time. So this may be a couple weeks that we're going to be doing this instead of all at once, which is fine. Not everybody does it that way, but I personally, with projects like this, it, I don't do it all at once. <laughs> I just don't. I mean, I could use my heat gun and try getting it done, but I'm not going to. That's my personal take on it, is do what you can when you can. So there we go. We got it looking pretty funky. Throughout it. Made it look different textured instead of always the same. So. Again. This is my take on it, uh, altering stuff. You don't necessarily need to do my same take. It's just how I do it. So I'm going to go set this aside. And then we're going to get going with this one. Which is going to look very different. <laughs> than what we just did. I am going to grab a lovely... little stencil here and I'm going to show you how I'm going to alter this one. <laughs> that one I just did completely random. I actually made a box like that a while ago. Now if you can get the taped stuff or sticker stuff off that would be great. If you can't you can't but again just a good idea to try using it try ripping it off that type of thing all right I apologize for any yelling and screaming you may hear from my upstairs neighbors. 
they like doing stuff like that. Again, my apologies if you hear it. There's nothing I can do too much about it. And I'm trying to make this as thick as possible, so if it seems like it's, whoa, you're going really thick with this, it's because I am. I want it as bumpy as possible. Because, again, that makes it so bumpy, but so pretty at the same time. So now that I got that done, let's just take it along and try saving some of it. Scraping it off as much as possible. And now I have that on this coffee paper. And again, I'm just gonna try getting as much on here as possible to make it very chunky, very pretty. So that will definitely add to the bumps and lumps when it comes time to using it somewhere else. And I am going to set that coffee paper to the side and get a new one. <laughs> this is a great way to add texture and design to your coffee paper without necessarily wasting any of your supplies. So, uses up my pieces here and makes it so I don't have to clean as much. So there we go. So I mean you can use stencil, you can use whatever you have on hand and again it just creates more of a look on your coffee dyed papers by adding what you have. So I'm gonna take my hands and stencil and my spatula to the bathroom and wash everything. <laughs> but again, I just, I wanted to show you two different techniques that I use with modeling paste. If you have texture paste, texture paste will work for doing these same things. I mean, even the embellishment mousse, you could do the same thing after you're done painting to make it look cute. I personally didn't want to do that with this one. I wanted it to look a particular way. And 
so I tried to make sure it had that look that I wanted. So now I'm going to let this dry, let my papers dry a little bit here, and wash stuff. <laughs> so have a great day or night, and we'll go on to doing bits and pieces with these two altered, uh, the altered box and the altered Altoids over time. I'm not going to do it all at once. Again, it takes me normally about a couple weeks to get everything that I want on it done. So it takes time because of the drying process and I'm okay with that. If you're not, go on, watch a different video. Enjoy the rest of your day or night again. Bye.